Good morning from Kampala in Uganda today. My name is Becky and this is a quick Bible thought for you today. Now, I don't know why it is, but I always have loved the idea of treasure maps. There's something quite fun in the idea of like, following a trail, uncovering the steps to seek out some hidden treasure, you know, take five steps from the big tree and rotate 90 degrees and take another three steps and there will be buried treasure. Maybe something to do with the uh, writing I'm doing about pirates in my fiction work at the moment. I don't know. But, you know, the thing is, we get to be part of the greatest treasure hunt ever as Christians. We get to seek something of infinitely more worth than gold and jewels. We are seeking after God himself. This is something that I felt really challenged about lately because honestly, I think that we can get a little bit lazy in our pursuit of God. We read a verse like Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 13, that says, You will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart. And we think, well, that's all good. I found God already. I've made that decision to follow after him. I believe in him. I know where I'm going when I die, seeking done, right? This is a, a verse for people who don't know God yet, isn't it? But this isn't a one-time thing. It's not something that ends with salvation. Seeking after God is a, a lifelong pursuit. And I find that incredibly exciting. Because no matter how much I may think I know about God. There is always more to discover. No matter how much I, I may think I know the Bible, there's always more to glean from it. No matter how much I think I recognize God's goodness and mercy and presence in my life, there is still more to experience. A life spent seeking after God will never ever be dull. You'll never reach the end of all there is to find, not even with an eternity of discovery. And we do have that guarantee that when we seek him, we will find him. He won't hide from you. The more you seek after him, the more he will reveal to you. And there are so, so many other bonuses for us as well. You know, Psalm chapter 34 verse 10 says that the lions may grow weak and hungry, but those who seek the Lord lack no good thing. In 2 Chronicles 16 and verse 9, we're told that the eyes of the Lord range throughout the earth to strengthen those whose hearts are fully committed to him, those who are seeking after him. 1 Chronicles 16 verse 10 says, let the hearts of those who seek the Lord rejoice. Seeking after God directly results in strength and joy and provision and so much more. You have no idea how many verses I could have shared with you today that I, I didn't have time for. There are so, so many benefits for us specifically in seeking after God. It is a good thing to do, but mostly, primarily, it is something that will increase your knowledge of and hunger for God. The more you seek after him, the more you will want to. Today is a good day to start seeking after God. But what is seeking, right? How do we do that? How do we pursue God? Well, the dictionary tells me that seeking means trying to discover something by searching or questioning. And I think that's, that's a pretty good answer, actually. If we want to discover more of God, if we want to know more about him, if we want to uncover the secrets and the treasure of him in this world, then we have to search for those answers and we have to question in order to receive them. Ask God questions. That's okay to do. 
search for the answer to something that's always bothered you. Search for the answer to something that you've always wanted to know more about. Or just generally search with an openness to hearing anything that he wants to, sh to tell you and to show you. Go to the Bible. Go to resources like this. Go to God in prayer. And make sure that you leave some room to actually hear what he's saying as well, rather than just speaking. When you seek him, when you search, when you question, you will find him. He will answer. I think we sometimes paint God as someone altogether unknowable. And you know, it's true that we probably will never understand all of the facets of his amazing character. But that doesn't mean that we can't know more than we know right now. He doesn't make it difficult for us to seek him. It's as easy as coming to him and saying, God, I am not going to stop until you show me a little bit more of who you are. And then I'm going to do it all over again. I'm going to keep on exploring this bottomless treasure chest of your goodness for the rest of my life. That is an exciting way to live, I can tell you. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that was an encouragement for you to seek after God, to pursue God, whatever you're doing this day. Just make a little bit of space for him and ask him to reveal a little bit more of who he is to you. You will not regret it. I will see you next time.